Mr. Swindle, how are you doing hey. this morning? What's up, baby? What's up? You ready for this? <laughs> I am so ready. I'm still plump from the sandwich, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on, guys? Welcome back to the Texas series. I have the incredible privilege of fishing on Gerald Swindle's boat today. Check this thing out. All wrapped up in Toyota and Dude Wipes and Mountain Dew and Phoenix. Do you get unlimited Mountain Dew well, I get a good supply? Bit. You get a good little bit? <laughs> and the truck, the wrapped truck. Wow. Very, very cool. G-Man. Bama. Guys, we are going bass fishing today. Just a day out on the water here in Texas on Lake Louisville. And I'm going to be able to learn from a pro and... We're just gonna go out and have a good time. Just base, just a nice day of fishing. No just tournament. A little change for you. A little, little change. We're just gonna have fun. Just gonna have fun fishing. That's that's all you need to know. All right. Before day one of the tournament, how many hours would you say you spend getting just getting like the stuff in the boat ready that you'll need for that day? Before I leave for an event, probably 16 hours Six. in the shop. Two, two, two at least eight hour days in the shop preparing. And then the night before the tournament, after I practice three days, uh, maybe two hours to finalize everything, touch it up. And I'm pretty quick at it. Like a lot of guys, like Aaron Martin may spend seven or eight hours that night. He, You look outside, it'd be one in the morning, he's still sitting in his boat doing his tackle. Then we get up at five the next morning. Wow. But everybody has their, their mind process where they mm -hmm. have to be to compete, then I can do it pretty quick. Wow. He's got a drone right above us, guys. So, uh, have you ever casted before during an Elite Series event and gotten your line in a drone? I've been real close. You've been real close? <laughs> I'll be honest that, with you, I've been real close to hitting the drone before, and they're like, hey, watch the drone. And I'm like, hey, watch me. Yeah, I'm trying to fish here. Yeah. But don't move it too far. Right, if it's real short chop, right, and it takes just a second, and you'll get the rhythm. Mm -hmm. So what you're trying to do is let it stay in the strike zone the longest. Because if he's on the bed, like the fish is spawning in there, he don't want to chase very far. Ah. So that frog's naturally just slow, slow. It's not running away from you too fast. And it, it, you'll see them if you run underwater, like they run up to it and they can't stand it because it's not fleeing from them. Mm. And then they take it. Okay. So sometimes the slower knife will just easy retrieve. All right. But guys, when I was younger, my favorite. Uh, Oh yeah, yeah. First bite of the day, guys. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> guys, when I was younger, my favorite articles in the Bassmaster were Day on the Lake with a Pro. If you guys read Bassmaster back in the day, they may still do it. I don't read that magazine anymore because of YouTube and stuff like that, but back in the day, it was my favorite article, and now I'm actually like living a day on the lake with a pro. You didn't fish a frog anywhere else except big scum mats and, yeah. and hydrilla. And, and now I'm throwing it on retaining walls for spotted bass. I tell you what else, I catch a lot of big ones on. Oh! Oh! oh Dang it! <laughs> Dang it! I catch a lot of big smallmouth on a frog. Big small, you know, I've never caught a smallmouth on a frog, I have to say. Dang it, guys, there was one. If you were fishing for a hundred grand, you'd have been upset. Mmm. <laughs> now that has to be intense. For you to like, you're sitting there and you hook up a fish and you're like, this might be a hundred thousand dollar fish. And I did it last week at Sabine, man. I need a third day. Ah, uh, nice. I got four fish. It's two o'clock and I'm just, I'm, I mean, I'm working my guts. Like, <gasps> Whoa! It was a big one. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Easy, big fella. <laughs> well, that Easy, was right. big fella. <laughs> He got he got one of my legs. Oh. <laughs> that was right out in the middle here. So like that, that for instance, in a tournament, would have cost me could have cost I've been a ten thousand dollar bite. Uh -huh. And you know I, I did it at Sabine where I had four. I fished my guts out. It's two o'clock and I finally get a two and a half pound bite, which is a giant there. Mm. And I hook him and flip him over end over end and I get ready to toss him and he just comes off. Well, 
that's 20 points in the standings. It could be the classic. It could be an AOY chase. It's detrimental. So you try not to just like go crazy, but it's hard not to. Mm, it's I'll really bet. hard not to just say, you know, really? What did I do, Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> We're in on him in here, Al. Yeah. Got the got the smallies back up in here, yeah. Looks like a small mouth bent out in the soda. <laughs> in a soda. Smallies just love these little little Black mud and rock yetis. banks. Yeah. <laughs> On a 45, uh, these chert rock, chunk rocks they call them. Chunk rocks. Well, chunk just rock. big chunks just of chunk rock. rocks. But it's chunk rocks. Like, yeah. You got those eyes moving up there yeah, sometimes? Yeah, eyes get out here on the chalk. Yes. Yes. Come on, baby. Get it. Ah, man. Deny. Deny. There you go. Oh, hey, yo. Oh. Hey, uh, hey. I skipped it in your house, didn't <laughs> you, I, I skipped it in your house. Look, he's got some birth marks, dude. So nice. cool. That he is must be a Sagittarius or something. She has some birth marks. <laughs> when you know they like it. Yes. Gobble, gobble. <laughs> <laughs> yes. First catch of the day, folks. Nice. That's nice. That's a, that's a Lake Louisville bag. Woo. We've had a couple of bites. Mm -hmm. We just didn't. We haven't connected, you know. You guys, uh, he's got a little swim jig on. Yeah. Just fishing it quite aggressively. Yeah. Too. Nice. Super fast. And one of the things I like to do, Ace, is I like to have a thinner skirt on a swim jig. Okay. A lot of them come factory with like 50 strands, <laughs> and I like to pull it down literally to like 20 or 25. I strands see that. Yeah. To make it more natural, so when I stop it, it pulses and then comes right back. Because the shad are pretty streamlined; they're not super bulky. That's true. And I'm fishing it pretty fast to make it look like the shad just jumped out of the bed. And that fish literally bit it. As soon as it went, you got it. Mm. So swim jig, a lot of times, is just all about speed. All right, so we fished the first cove, and uh, it's on to the next spot. So I have a question. Do you practice, did you practice casting to get this good at casting or is it, does it just come from hours on the water? It's a lot of it, but I did a lot of practicing. Actually, after my uh, second back surgery, I was down about six months and I was pretty young and I got in my, uh, out of my porch in the concrete and I would just sit targets up and just sit and cast for hours and practice sliding it across the concrete, which serves a lot like the water. And so a little bit of that, and then become obsessed with left-handed, right-handed, backhanded, and then just kind of took that to the water. And then, then years and years and years of doing it, you kind of slowly get better at it. From a fishing standpoint, if you are not, look at that bass on bed. Look, 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 see him? Oh, see yeah, him on yeah, bed? Yeah, there we go. Now watch this. It's gonna have to be. He's right by the little green, right the, oh, he's kind of swinging around. So let's see if he'll go back up there. I'll catch him. So, just for instance, that bass, by not moving all over casting, he was still sitting there. Mm -hmm. Where if you use your whole body casting, there's so much more moving in a boat that fish in clear water will automatically pick you out. Mm -hmm. And that's what you don't want. So you the, the limit your motions. So what we'll do, we know that fish is there. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna fish down here. And I'm gonna come back up here. And I'm gonna take a, uh, like a natural bait and try to catch him on the first pick. So for these Texas bass, you think I should just like leave it sit there or should I work it like a... You're going to need to try to hit it right on him and then as soon as it hits there just let it sit there. Like, you need to try to hit the green bush like right at the base of it. As okay. close as you can get to it. Okay. And then just let it sit for a second. Alright, so check out. We had a little a fluke on here. That bed and bass that was earlier. Gerald got me hooked up here. Little flick. Not quite on point but... Oh, 
can't see him over there. There, oh, we, there we go. He's got to go back to fall. That should be so good. Oh, he, he got on it, I think. He get, Does he have it? I can't see him. Is it heavy? Yeah, he got, it. got him. Yes. Whoa, yeah. I'll get him for you. He is. You get him yep. and I'll grab him. I need, I need a pair of your sunglasses. You can. Oh, it's a hundred thousand dollar fish. Woo! That's awesome. It's awesome. Thank you, sir. That's like it's right there, perfect. They just, I seen him turn, and I'm like, I think he got it. Yeah. So awesome. Ah. Funnest type fish. That is. You can see him, and it gets personal. See how we ambushed him? He comes down, and we let him get back natural. You make the perfect cast. That's what I'm Woo! Thank you, sir. That I appreciate awesome, that. Bro. I appreciate that. Was that. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Just laid the old shit I got him. <laughs> get that fluke out. Oh, you're gonna get me. Look at this guy's. He's gonna get me set up with something here. Only the best for my friend. Only the best. Guys. When you take a guy bank fishing with $25 Walmart rods. And he takes you out on his hundred thousand dollar bass boat and his two thousand dollar rod setups. You keep those friends <laughs> for life. <laughs> it's like we served in jail together for life. <laughs> All right, guys. After a little uh, stop off on shore, we picked up my uh, camera guy, Drew. Here, it's our, he's not really my camera guy. He's just a freelance camera guy. Uh, but we've been working together the last few days on all kinds of Toyota social media stuff and. Uh, so he's pretty good. We're gonna go out and fish a little more. Oh, oh yeah. Now you're gonna have to get the worms. Slide it to him. You can make the cast on the first cast. Which okay. Oh, look at this big one. Look at this big one. That's a big one right there. See him in between the trees. Oh, he's looking right at us right now. See him in the bush. That's a big one. Like right in there. Right? In that gap right there. Not to, to the left, to the right. Yeah, that one. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no, yeah, I can't. I see, I see, I see. Got him. Got, got him. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, yeah. Woo! Oh, <laughs> oh. Yes. <laughs> what a cast, dude. You like laid it in his house. <laughs> I'm going to break my little 10-pound line. Do it, do it, do it. Woo! Hey, score. That was awesome. I mean, you skipped that in his face. And I see the water. Oh, <laughs> <I> got him. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yes. That was right, cool. That's, cool that, that's why we fish right it's, there. But the lesson <laughs> is like this wait in a second, you know. Like uh -huh. So many people when we sight fish, we want to see them and then immediately throw. Uh -huh. It's better to just like let him chill. Mm -hmm. and that you got He's not going up. anywhere. No, and what happened is you watch you, I watch your like your demeanor come down. You got your cat, you got rigged up right hook, catch. Mm -hmm. Don't rush it. Don't rush it. That was uh, good stuff, dude. Oh, that was fun. That is why you fish, guys. Oh, oh, that's yours. <laughs> well, I ain't got. I'll start it on the other side. Okay, there's a little water in there. Flop around a second. All right, there's another one in there, I think. Okay. All right, here's the lesson. There's one now to the, is it, to is the it? right side. That one was in the left. He's right in the dark part of the bush on the left side. So you want to skip it. It's going to be tough. Let's see if you can back it right back up in that bush again. Like not toward the toward the right main stem. Fork. Yeah, right, right in the fork. Okay, I'll try. Oh, that was toward that, the main. That was it. That was it. But it, if it would have just missed the limb and skipped one time, I think you could have caught him. I just got a glimpse of him just easing around a tree. Yeah, okay. Got a very narrow window here, guys. Oh, the pressure's no. <laughs> on. The pressure's on. You're still safe. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, 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 there we go, there we go. Really good chance he might get that. He's so tight to his bed, like he's not even moving. There we go, there we go. Oh, yeah, you might have him now. How am I going to land him? I don't know, but <laughs> let's hook him first. We'll and figure we'll... that out when he gets on there. <clears throat> All right, let's go to this next okay. one. We'll come back. Around. We'll come back. It's like a 90 year old lady on TikTok this morning. She said, I drank three Dr. Peppers a day. I see a guard come in. She said, The doctor told me 
they're gonna kill me. 15 years later, I had to get a new doctor because he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> She'd outlived the doctor that told her she was gonna die. There's a bass right there and a good one. See, his big oh, old yeah. body, mm -hmm. there's two of them. That's a pair mm -hmm. of big ones. Mm -hmm. yeah, now you get mm -hmm. the meat and taters on tournament time and that's probably another one right there. All right, guys, so what we did is we saw that fish, located it, drilled it down the bank a little bit. We looked for some more, but we let that one rest, and now we're coming back. Now, they were right between those two trees right there, correct? All right. Two trees just right at the base of them. All right. All right, pressure's on, Drew. Oh, we're all eyes you, on you, baby. Well, uh, <laughs> just to make sure if this is... Broke my line. Oh, oh man. I said he got it. Yeah. All right, which rig up another? Ah. Hey, we're digging straight braid, man. Oh. I'm tight straight braid on there. Straight, that sounds good to me. Oh. He ain't done. Guys, I may have just snapped off what might have been my personal best, but uh, we'll, that's part of fishing. We'll get after him. He's hot to take it. He is hot. That's he just... wants to dance with a guy named Ace. That was a great cast, just not in the. Not in the really that's the pretty, one I was looking for. Pretty, pretty maybe, maybe we should uh, switch. Maybe, maybe, maybe and then I wouldn't get hit by those branches either. Oh, see, there we go. There, there's the there's the cast. I just got it back there. I see him spinning around. Turn it this way a little bit. Got it. Yeah, got him. One of them right there. Oh, woo! <laughs> that was on the outside after I worked it a little bit. Oh. oh my God, that's a good one, dude. This is when it gets fun and it starts. You're like, oh, sweet Jesus. This is where you start, like, snoring. I'm sorry for everything bad I've ever done. It's just fish. Woo! That's one of them. Look at that. Yeah. That's why he was on the outside, but man, that's a good fish. If that's the male, yeah. oh, we'll take him. <laughs> Thank oh, you, sir. So cool. Wow. So cool. What a gorgeous like, fish. Oh, look at him. Trying to get out of there. <laughs> Try to jump out of the live well. Oh, look at him. Trying to get out of there. <laughs> Try to jump out of the live well. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen her, but I know she's still there. Like she's just sitting still. So as soon as you get, if you can make it on that first one, she's gonna probably take it out. Oh, that's the wrong tree. Oh, got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Never mind. First, got it. <laughs> wrong tree. Swam right over. I'll get oh, this one. Get that one. Yeah, like, I got bad knees. <laughs> well, my old knees. Oh, right in the bottom of the lip. Got it. He's there. Woo! A nice chunk too, man. Like, <laughs> I, I thought it was the wrong thing too, but I guess it was looking at it and it was like. <laughs> yes, look at that, guys. So we're <laughs> Come on out on it. Get out, dude. That, I'm telling you, dude, that's so cool. You make the cast. Well, like super observant, like you thought it was the wrong tree, but you had that. You're still watching the bait. You just didn't go, oh, wrong tree. You threw it and you worked it and you went, got it. <laughs> That's kind of the sign that you're into the deal. You're like watching. Well, I appreciate you showing me the spots Dude. and let me use this amazing equipment. And uh, oh, honestly, I know like we're, it's just your show. And, I, and it's really, it's been super cool to come on here and hang out because I don't do a lot of YouTube. Like, mm -hmm. You're the first, I, I would say, big time YouTuber that I've ever like went out fishing with. But I do this for a living and I do this so much by myself. It's so much funner, even in a competition, to just not even like watch somebody do what I do. Mm -hmm. It's fun to me. Like, I, I would be doing this next week for money. So I, I, uh -huh. it's cool to watch you do it because I see that excitement that you get. And I'm like, so that's why I still do it. Because, <laughs> you know, it's, 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 you get excited. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, like, I know. Just like, Oh, and this Texas bass fishing is so new to me. Yeah, I, I really appreciate this. This is this is a blast. Well, guys, it kind of got rainy on us out here, um, but what a cool, cool experience on this bass boat. 
the Gerald Swindle, he's gone up to get the truck. I need to see what I can do to help. Pardon me. Here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank Dude, you for the amazing it's, it's experience. Been a really good time. I, I had a great time too. Super. I look forward to doing it again. And y'all, hey, y'all check his channel out because yeah. we're going to the river. And you guys make sure to check out his channel out. I'll put a link to it in the description. Summer, September, August, we'll meet again. Sounds great. Little river. In Georgia. Little Locust River. river. Alabama. Yep. And we're going to do some kayaking and some down home southern river cooking. That's possibly some rope swings. Y'all don't want to yeah. miss this guy on a rope swing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, again, sir. Again, man. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one.